<laughs> so, okay, okay, so the museum. The kids were, were they well behaved? Or how was, you know, I want to get an idea. How did you treat them in a parental style while, while you guys were out? Wonderful transition. I like that. Um, we now currently change our approach to treating them like adults. It's weird. It's I I don't like talking to them like they're little baby children at all in any situation whatsoever. I talk to them like they're 12 or like Antonio's age. I don't treat them any differently than I do Antonio, which I guess can be kind of controversial, but uh so example, no, they're running that's, around. That's really controversial. <laughs> Yeah, I know. They're they're running around after lunch. They got their belly full of junk food, and they had a lot of energy after that. So they got up out of hand and ran into people and were in people's way. So you just got to, I, you know, Natalie and I were stern, set up, you know, kept on telling them to come here and sat them down in the stroller. We did bring a stroller, uh, the two-person stroller. Yep. Two-kid stroller, two-child, not two-person. If it was two person, person, I would want to sit in it, but <laughs> Mommy push me around. Um you know, just just take them aside calmly but sternly explain to them that if you do not stay by us and you do not stop running around, you will go in the stroller and we will start heading home. And so, that worked once. So that's kind of more like an authoritarian style where you yeah where you kind of expect them I guess to really follow your orders without questioning it or not understanding why the rules are there, right? And then you're using a threat of punishment which is going home rather than having fun out of the house. Now I think of it more as making sure they know the consequences of their actions 